you guys, it is Thursday, February the, I think, 18th. But let me show you something. Let me show you something. My house has a layer of snow on it. Look at the size of that. Look at the size of that um, icicle right there. And there's another one. I don't want to fall. There's an another one. If I fall, I'm going to be upset with myself. Look at the size of that one, guys. Look at the size of that one. Don't know if it's, you guys can see it or not. Oh, wait a minute. There it is. See the size of that icicle? See it? It's gorgeous. I mean, look around. And it's not that cold out. You'd think it would be, but it's not that cold out. I mean, I don't know how many inches of snow we got last night, but we got some snow. Look how pretty that is. Look how pretty all that is. There's icicles all the way down the side of the house. Look at that. Icicles. All the way down the side of the house. Who oh, this? We heard a noise. We weren't sure what it was. Be glad when the snow melts off of the roof. Oh. Every time I step down, my feet go down about... I mean, look how far down my feet go. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. They go down about three inches. Gracie's over there in that field. I don't know if y'all can see that or not because it's hard to see. How far down? Let me see if I can turn around. Ooh, show you guys. My feet go down about three inches. See, it goes down about three inches. Whew. Oh, I don't want to fall. I have a bad feeling that I'm going to fall here. I'm trying to get my footing in this snow. I do have a bad feeling I'm going to fall. I mean, the snow is right up to the edge of the house. Let's see? Right up to the bottom edge. I mean, there's only about two inches between. I mean, the the ground layer is right uh, level with my back porch deck. What you doing there, Gracie? Okay, I'm going back in before I actually fall. She can stay out a minute. Let me take you guys inside and show you. I have icicles on my... On my house there. Hopefully, that's full of ice. Let me pause you guys a minute. Okay, you guys. Let me show you the front. All right. So here is the icicle. On the front corner of my house. See that sucker? That sucker's big. That poor little tree's all wilty. But look at this. Isn't this beautiful? Isn't this beautiful? They're beautiful. There's a couple trees that concern me. Like that one there. So I might get that trimmed back after the Winter season. That one concerns me a little bit. Mm -mm -mm. 
It's so peaceful and quiet. It's cold out, okay? But I'm in just a... I've got no socks on. It's 36 degrees outside. And I got a sweatshirt, jacket, zipper hoodie on. That's it. And I'm not freezing. It's just, it's a different kind of cold. I think my neighbor's parked at the end of her driveway so she can get out in the morning. Because she has to go to work. But. This is, uh. This is Kentucky in after a sn ice snowstorm. We had three of them this year. All within two weeks time. Or a week and a half or something. But, oh, it's so pretty. I mean, it is pretty. so quiet. You can hear the birds in the distance. You can hear some birds in the distance. You can hear them. But look at the size of that icicle there. That's got to be a four-footer. That has got to be a four-footer. This is finally thawing out. I want my steps to thaw out because um, of the movers. So this is finally thawing out. I don't want to slip. But yeah, this is finally thawing out. Yeah, okay, that's good. It's nice to see the that finally thawing out. <clears throat> Hopefully the steps will thaw out before before Wednesday. And that way the movers can bring my stuff in. Mud we can handle. Mud we can handle. But it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Now my hands are cold <laughs> from touching that stuff. <sighs> so I'm going to go back in where it's warm. I was up all night long, made the mistake of watching, <laughs> kind of fell asleep once and then woke up. I woke up. Nobody woke me up. Nathan thinks he, Nathan might think he woke me up, but he didn't. But I woke up and uh, still got that pile of clothes to deal with as soon as I get my wardrobe. But I had a hard... I didn't sleep last night. I did not sleep last night. No, we don't have to go on videotaping. I like that shirt Nathan has on. That one. Whew. No, we don't have to go nowhere. We're not going to go nowhere. This is going to make pretty beads, this box is. I think it's going to make pretty beads. I make paper beads out of packaged food and food. I'm gonna I think I'm gonna like this one too. This uh Fishy. Yeah, I think that one's gonna be nice. I don't know how much me I'm not gonna get orange out of it a whole lot. But I think that one's gonna be nice too. <laughs> the other day I said, entertain yourself and he started doing that. <laughs> no, I think I think the other day I said yeah, he did that. <laughs> when you get cabin fever, you act silly. But you guys... Let me flip. Alright, you guys. There's nothing... I did that before when we got here. There's nothing to do today. I have a headache. I had a headache all morning. I ate... I woke up... I think I woke up... Around 10, 30, 11... And I laid there for a little bit because my head is just, I got a headache. I get headaches. And today it's really taken, I mean, I feel, I don't, I feel like I got a, I feel blah, you know. Um, I was telling y'all, I watched a sad movie last night. Uh, one with Della Street in it, I think it's her name. She's the black woman from, um. Um, Touched by an Angel. I think her name's Della Street. Very good actress. Enjoy anything she's ever in. 
And I think it was called Chasing Secrets. Good movie. Uh, made me cry a little bit. <sighs> and these days, sad movies are hard to watch. I'm having a blah day. Having a really blah day. I think I'm doing pretty good, but every now and then I have a moment where I'm, I think about things. And I think about the divorce, and I think about all those years married to someone, and uh, how... Uh, I just realized, were you keeping the sink and drip? Yeah, but it's okay. I used it. It's okay. But I think about uh, all those years of being married and how someone can just not... What's the word I'm looking for? Cannot... Can... can uh, how... I don't know the words I'm looking for. My head hurts so bad. I think how you could give all that up and cheat for something that's not, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I guess I need to do a video and tell you guys exactly what happened and get it over with. I guess one reason why I haven't really wanted to talk about it because even though I know it, the marriage is over. And I'll never understand why he cheated on me. I guess it's hard to believe that your life can be over in just like a split second like that. Well, not over, but your relationship can be over. How someone's decision can change your life so much. I just... I got a headache. I guess I've been thinking too much. And I guess I've been thinking too much because my daughter was in the hospital and I wasn't down there with her. I mean, I, I know she's married and got, a, you know, got Ashley, but, um, and I know that's all part of the whole evolving your kids get married. They have a, you know, uh, and everything and they have a significant other to lean on and everything, but, um, and it's supposed to be normal. All right, you guys. Whew. I am tired. I did not sleep well last night. A lot's been a lot. I'll be glad when life has a new normal. I was telling my daughter and everything um, when this whole divorce stuff started. And after we, you know, just before Nathan and I moved up here to Kentucky, I was telling my daughter that we all had to, that we would have our new normals. You know, we just, we would have them. Well, we haven't gotten there yet, you know. Um, I was talking to her today on the phone, and she had one of her seizures on the phone. When I was talking to her and Ashley talked her down through it. And I was so thankful. That Ashley was there for her. Since I can't be there. This has got to be the first time in my life. That. When family has been going through something that I haven't been able to be there. I mean, I was always the one always there. I mean, I know they'll get through it together because they just will. They love each other and they'll get through everything together. 
and uh, but that was hard they went out this evening to get some groceries and stuff and my understanding is she had two more seizures tonight um, she is getting medical attention for it so um, they will they will figure it all out um, and everything but I don't know about life right now. Um, Nathan and I have been pretty much... The movers haven't even gotten here yet, so I can't really, like, get all the stuff in and totally unpack and, and, and put things in its place. So we're still in limbo on the move. Um, and I don't want to unload the pull behind until I get the other stuff in first. And then we can't unload the pull behind camper because it's been snowing pretty much since we got up here. We had a day or two and then I, th then I think it started snowing. I don't really know. I'm having a little trouble right now with concept of time. And I know what it is. There's a term for it. And I can't think of what the term is. But when you have traumatic things happen in life, it kind of messes up your time, your time um, table kind of thing. You, you can have a traumatic situation happen in your life and totally forget everything that happened a month before that happened. Um, I know there's a name for it. I just can't think of what it is. Um, it's like when uh, you, there's an unexpected death or a death. And then you just can't remember the things just before it or something traumatic. But um, I just can't think of what it's called. I'm not going to Google it because it really doesn't matter. Um, I'm just, I'm tired again. You know, I go through moments of being tired and not being tired. I don't feel depressed. Okay. I, I don't. You know, and I know some people say, well, it's perfectly understandable if you are a little bit. I don't feel depressed. I feel sad. I do feel sad these days. I mean, I try to laugh about things and and everything, and but I, I still feel very sad. I know time will heal the whole thing, but... I'm tired. And I don't really feel like, okay, yeah, I've been joking around saying, oh, we got cabin fever a little bit from being stuck in because of the cold and stuff. But honestly, what would I do anyways? I mean, other than um, go out with Nathan to kind of like see what is out and about so that he can find a job. Because um, we do want to run around to the neighboring towns and stuff and see because um, we got lots of towns around us that we can get to all of them are in the same uh same direct uh, distance uh, time distance wise i mean so he can he can find a job eventually but right now with the weather the way it is i don't want him going out there and trying to find a job right now I think I'm tired. I think there's a lot of darkness under my eyes. Um, this heat is about to do me in, sinus-wise. Um, it's really messing up my sinuses. Um, I guess I'm being, I feel like I'm getting dried out a little bit. I know my skin was getting dried out. You know. But... Really nothing exciting is happening these days. I'm not going to walk around the property and show you guys a lot of the snow. Because one thing, I'm nervous about doing it. Because everything's on an incline until I really get used to even walking on the inclines. I don't want to walk on the inclines now. In the middle of snow and ice. Um, I'm loving the views. I'm loving the views of the snow. That I am very, I'm really, I think it's pretty. Um... But other than that, there's nothing exciting happening around here. 
We can't wander around because it's too dangerous to drive around on these back roads. On the hillside, mountainside, or whatever. The too, it's too dangerous. We don't know where there's down power lines from the ice storms we had last couple, last week and a half or week. And um, we don't know the road conditions. So, And my life is too valuable to me to take those chances. I do think that when I do get to get into town... I think I'm going to buy a little bit of makeup. I think I want to. I feel like I look old right now. And I just feel like I look a little old because I'm a little tired and everything. But I think I want to wear a little bit of makeup. You know, just a little bit. Not, not, not get carried away. Maybe I could find a moisturizer or something for my skin. But... Kind of had fun the other day when I played with the hot rollers. So, I don't know. I still love myself. I still love me, myself, and I. So, that's not an issue. I'm not depressed, so that's not an issue. I'm sad. That is not really an issue. It's just part of the healing process after getting a divorce, I guess. It's one of the emotions. Still angry at times. It's like, I want to be mad and angry at him and everything. But at the same time, I don't, you know? So, I don't know. It's, it's, it's going to take time to heal the wound. And I don't know if it ever will heal. You know, how do you get past some, how do you get past someone hurting you so bad? How do you do it? I mean, you can get past it, but getting past it is one thing. Um, I don't think you ever forget it, the pain that was caused. I have to say, this is the most pain I've ever had in my life. And I hope I never have any kind of pain like this again. I mean, this one tops it all. It tops the death of parents. It tops it all. I mean, I thought the worst pain I had had other than losing a parent was the uh, relationship, lost relationship with my brother. Nope. Nope. My divorce actually topped that. It's the loss of relationship with my brother is nothing. That's, that's nothing now. I mean, compared to the pain of this. I just don't know. Lots of questions, never will have the answers, never will understand why. And I can't help but think why. And I can't help but think why and why, 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 why? <laughs> I think it'd be easy if I didn't have ties to the ex, you know, kids, but I wouldn't give those two up for nothing. Would not give up my kids for nothing. Half the time, I don't even know Nathan's with me up here. He's so quiet and spends his own time in his own side of the house. So half the time, I don't even know he's uh, here. I forget sometimes that he's here. I really do. I think, ooh, I'm, I'm by myself again like I was back when I uh, came up here last Octo in October. Because he really, I don't, he just on the other side of the building. Until I say something and then he and then he does a play on words on me. Like, oh, I want to run here when we get a chance. Well, I think it would be easy if you didn't run or that kind of thing he does. Um, but I guess I'm just rambling at you guys right now. I wanted just to end the video for the day. I mean, the most excitement is snow. <laughs> and it snowed some more after that last expert ex excerpt of snow. That last... 
videoing of the snow, it snowed even more. So we got several hours of snow. A good downpour. A good, I don't want to say downpour, but a good fall, snowfall. I'm still see where my wedding band was. So I don't know how long that'll take to, to go away. So I don't know. Alright, well I'm going to stop rambling here because there's nothing to talk about. And all I'm doing is just rambling at you guys. So I'm going to say if you like my videos, like and subscribe. And then remember, enjoy the craziness of life because you might laugh about it when you tell a friend. Alright, see y'all in the next video. Bye.